Hi, I'm James Haley here with Horizon Hobby Product Development. Uh, we got the new Blade 130X here, and we're going to kind of go over the major crash components, some of the things that are you know most likely to break during a crash, or that we've had um, you know breaking a crash. Um, we're going to mainly focus on the drivetrain here, uh, mainly the tail gears and the rear and the front, as well as the main rotor head, and uh, that should be you know cover pretty much all of the main crash components on the helicopter. Start by popping the canopy off, set it aside. Now we're going to disassemble the main rotor head. We're going to start by removing the blades using a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. And then using two 1.5 millimeter Allen wrenches, we're going to remove the spindle bolts. One of these will become loose, set it aside. Then pop the ball links off of the main rotor grips. Then slide one of the blade grips off. Be careful not to lose the brass step washer. Set it aside. Then pull the whole, the other blade grip off. The spindle will come off with it. Slide the step washer off of it. Therefore, now you can replace the spindle and the blade grips if need be. We're now going to reassemble the main rotor head. We're going to start by using a 1.5 millimeter Allen and put it on the spindle through the main rotor grip. Slide the step washer on with the small step towards the bearing. We're then going to slide this through the main rotor head. Make sure not to let the dampener fall out. And if it does, push it back in. Be sure that the control ball for the blade grip is on the leading edge of the control, so the head spins clockwise, so it's going to be on this side. Easy way to tell is if the word blade is written up. So that way, as long as you can see blade on the blade grip, you know it's on the right direction. Go ahead and slide the other step washer on, followed by the main rotor grip. Then grab your spindle bolt and start it in. Then grab your other 1.5 to tighten it all the way. These are small bolts, so just snug them. There's no need to over tighten them. Once you have the bolt tightened, go ahead and install the ball links back onto the blade grips. After that, go ahead and install your blades back on. You won't want to run these blades too tight as uh, they're very light, so you know they need to be able to find their own center. So I usually run them just so they won't move on their own. That's good right there. Very easy to move. If you're flying over grass a lot, I recommend running them very loose. That will uh, allow them, if they do hit the ground or anything, not to, to be able to fold and not put any more load on the gear train as needed. Once you have them both of them the same, you are done rebuilding the main rotor head. 